Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I'm Dr. Milin. So every year, a lot of students go abroad to pursue medical education. They start uh, the you know medical course with uh, very excitement, but suddenly as the year progresses, there are a lot of factors that they started realize realizing. Once you complete your medical education abroad and come back to India, then you suddenly realize there are a lot of challenges being a foreign medical graduate. Some students they clear FMG exam and they start practicing, or there are some students who have always dreamed of studying in an Indian medical college, and they start preparing for a NEET, PG, and NICT exam. But foreign medical graduate always have this inferiority complex, and you know this negativity in their mind that whether they will be able to crack this exam or not. So today I am going to talk about you know this dream of a foreign medical graduate to study in an Indian medical college. So first of all, you know these questions that troubles a lot of students. It is possible for a foreign medical graduate to crack NEET PG exam or INSEAD exam. So let me tell you, there are lots and lots of examples which you might not be knowing who have done it. Not only NEET PG, but there are students who have cracked. DM and MCH entrances. So, just to name few, Dr. Maris, this was a very good friend of mine who completed his UG in Russia and completed his MD medicine from Grant Medical College, Mumbai. Dr. Shekhar Mishra completed his MS also from Ains Gopal, who was from Nepal. Uh, he did his UG from Nepal. Dr. Piyush Bhavnadkar, my room partner from Russia, my very close friend, he is doing his MCH in plastic surgery in BJ Medical College, Pune. Dr. Meet Joshi cracked in Italy in first attempt, doing general medicine in BJ MC Ahmedabad. Dr. Rajkish Sharma, I have released their interviews on my channel. Again, need to rank 1,000. So there are lots. These are just few examples. There are lots and lot of students who have done it. So why getting a PG seat is important for a foreign medical graduate? First, self satisfaction. You know, it is not like you can come and join the mainstream again. A lot of students want to join the mainstream. Want to have that you know feeling of the environment. How does it feel to study in Indian medical college? Also, you know, why it is a self satisfaction? Because you know you prove that okay, you have that you know ability. You were not able to crack a UG exam, but now you have this ability that you can crack a PG exam, and you can join the mainstream, and you will be a uh, you know uh, now Indian medical graduate. Also, once you do a post graduation, you have a better career opportunities. You know nowadays, like just plain MBBS, you can survive in a maybe peripheral uh, part of uh, you know uh, like in a semi-urban or rural part, but not in an urban area. So you have a better career opportunities if you do post graduation. Also, a lot of students, you know, we are called FMG for medical graduates. So, a lot of students, you know, we want to get rid of that tag. You know, don't want to be called that. So, it helps you getting over that tag if it's consistency and discipline. So, first about accepting the flaws. See, I cannot be in your shoes. I don't know what uh, you know what kind of students you were. You know, there are a lot of foreign medical graduates who are very sincere during your undergraduate graduation and they score a very good track. But even if you are not. You were you were a very normal and you know, average student during UG. You had a lot of fun, but you were not so much into studies. But you had to accept. You had to tell yourself, okay, I have you know I have enjoyed my life abroad, but I was not very good in studies, so I have to work on that part. So first understand that, and you start from where. What is your starting point? If you know that your knowledge is suppose five percent, you have to start from that. Your knowledge is twenty percent, you have to start from that. But you had to accept this thing. Even if you start from zero, you can achieve anything. Suppose you feel that you know I have not studied at all. Still, you can do greater things, and you have to have belief. So first, begin from basics. So first, make your fundamental strongs, and don't rush to your basic sciences. So for your first and second year subjects like anatomy, physio, biochemistry, micro, uh, physio, and uh, pharma. So this is where you have to spend a uh, lot of uh, you know time. So now we have lot of uh, online coaching platforms. You know, if you are a student who is Uh, you know, you undergoing his undergraduate or who are, who have who is doing his internship. Tell advice. You can join an online class and you can watch video lecture lectures. Either you can make your own notes while watching a lecture, or you can annotate in a printed note. So if you ask me, what is what I would recommend? See, I have been a user of Preplader, and I passionately recommend it to a lot of students because you know the kind of faculty that they have, Dr. Deepak Marwa, Dr. Jayana Bora, Dr. Govind Rai Gar, who are you know the esteemed faculty in the field. So you can go through these preplanner lectures, and uh, they provide a printed notes as well. There are notes on their app as well. So if you want to save time, you can annotate directly in these notes, or you can just read directly through these notes, or you can make on your own. You have to spend time to build your concept. See, don't rush through these these subjects. Don't rush through these your initial rank building subjects because this is going to form a basis of your clinical subject. So you have to spend more time on that. So, as I said, either you watch videos or make out make notes of your own handwriting. So, if you're a student who is looking for a source, so this is how the preplanner provides their notes. So, they are very concise and well written notes with important point information highlighted, along with you know all the previous questions and everything that is given in compactly. So, you can utilize those these notes as well. Now, coming to the next point, you have to make a long term schedule. See, as I say, it's better late than never. 
see if you're someone don't try to fi- suppose exam is in next 6 months so don't try to finish and don't try to rush into 6 months you have to target a proper exam you you should know that when you will be ready you have these flaws you have these weaknesses you need to work on those plans so make a pro- proper plan i have released lot of planner videos on my channel you can definitely uh check out that so first as i said work on your rank building subject and the time that you are going to spend on those subject is never a waste of time it will save a lot of time in uh, next if you have to do jobs lot of fmg student you know they have they have taken a education loan and there are a lot of financial you know constraints so if you have to do a job it's still possible with a job you should make a plan see for example if you need to do a job for one year so target exam that is after one year so you can have a don't say that i will do a job and i will target exam in six months so in both sides you will lose you will not do your job properly you will not anything there and you won't be able to crack exam as well so they said it's better late than never so make plan accordingly make a long term schedule and spend your time on theory and reading notes so as i have shown you the preparer notes which you can you know on the go you can open the app and you can read the notes you can spend time on those theory whenever you are watching the videos as i said you know uh dr sandeep sharma who is a pedic uh, faculty of prep ladder he is my personal favorite and i always watch his videos and what i have seen that you know they not only try to teach you the theory but also the practical and the clinical association so whenever you watch the video stay focused so you don't have to spend extra time again understanding so you retain more and more information while watching the videos notes is going to be your primary source now i'll give you a few uh, tips that whenever you are reading theory what you know what you should be uh, doing so you know uh, whenever you are starting reading see as a fmg a lot of students you know they say that you know a lot of fmg they don't read the textbooks we have you know this uh, in russia we used to have this uh, method of key you know these were small booklets which were provided by the college you which you have to read so we were not exposed to a lot of textbooks so sometimes you feel that you know you don't have the basic knowledge but trust me don't worry how much you are remembering or retaining while reading you just start reading with subsequent revisions your results will improve you know as as you will start reading as you will progress through your course you will start retaining the information second whenever you are reading highlight the important areas which are repeatedly asked so whatever was asked in the last few years in last few you know uh, exams so that is a highly important point you have to underline that you have to make a lot of mnemonic see it is going to be a 19 subject there is so much of data so you cannot remember all the data so you have to make lot of mnemonic you have to make any mnemonic you want also as i have advice you know the prep ladder notes can be your help and can be your guide in such situation so you will find lot of such mnemonic like if you are finding what are the autosomal dominant uh, disorders so achondroplasia is a mnemonic for that so such there are lot of mnemonic in the notes which you can find which can be very helpful and time saving also you can make your own mnemonic as well also if you are uh, you know as i said about you know highlighting the important what prep ladder has updated in their notes is they have highlighted the previous year questions so you don't have to go through you know uh, again and find which are previous year questions and the important information that is repeatedly asked in the infection uh, in the exams is against star mark so these are all things you will you know get uh, in this uh, particular notes and that is why i am uh, recommending them now what if you are a ug student if you are someone who is studying abroad first you make a long term schedule with your ongoing schedule suppose you are having a uh, this subject particular cycle or posting watch those uh, you know videos with your current posting and also incorporate your basic sciences along that so don't just suppose if you are in a medicine so do the integrated learning see what i say that if you want to understand a subject do a integrated learning if you want to do it fast you have to go subject wise so if you are a ug student if you are studying cardiology so read about the physiology see the physiology lectures read the notes see the pathology see the pharmacology which drugs are used and then read the medicine so it is integrated learning so you learn everything together and it will be long term in your memory depending on the year of undergraduate finish subjects which are completed suppose you are a third year student so finish what already have been taught in second and third year if you are a final year student you have to again start from the basics stick to one source you know lot of students they just get carried away you know as i just recommend student what i have used i have used prepladder so i recommend student prepladder so you have to stick to one source if you are using a prepladder you have to have faith that you, everything will come from that and you have to follow that source religiously you have to use custom modules and previous year questions see if you are a ug student i'll not advise you know because lot of students have this uh, they become addicted to you know solving uh, mcqs see do not mcqs are of a great help they are going to uh, you know make your preparation better but do not spend you know more time on mcqs first make your theory strong first read your notes and they start solving your custom modules start solving your uh, pyqs 
but remember theory is going to be the basis of your preparation so for those students you just students who don't know what are these custom modules and subject wise test so if you go to preparator app you will find these custom modules which are a customized to bank so i'm telling you about the preparator app which i have used so here you can make a question as per the category suppose if you are in the beginning if you want to gain a confidence so you can set a difficult difficulty level so if you set if you are feel that you are in the beginning you can set a difficulty level as easy and you also as i said you know integrated learning that if you study your respiratory system cardiovascular system now you have finished the system now you want to see what kind of questions are being asked from the particular topic so in a preparator app you can use these tags like respiratory system cardiovascular system nervous system and you will get questions from those so you will understand at how much you have understood the topic and what is your accuracy level and how much is the ret- uh, retain- uh, retaining time so this will help you to integrate the subject better and subsequently enhance your learning and understanding and as i say that integrated way of studying is the best way to understand the concepts solving the custom module questions and reading the explanation is a integral part of uh, preparation don't just solve the mcqs you know a lot of student they just solve the mcq and they don't read the explanation they don't see the back you know the back story of the explanation so there are two ways first either you go back to the textbook and see what is what is the you know explanation like for example if you are reading a physiology uh, book or if you are reading a pharmacology book a pharmacology custom module and if you get a answer right wrong so you can either go back to a textbook and see the that that part of the theory or you go go back to the notes or see that part of you know a theory whether you have done the mistakes but you can find a shortcut on preplatter where you can below the question you will get the explanation along with the uh, reference that where they have taken the explanation now you can see also you will see how many people have got it right now why this is important see the uh, the question which has which more than 50% student get right you should never get that wrong because that is the question going to define your rank the question that only few students like 10 15 students percent student get right that is not going to you know affect your rank so don't worry about that this is very important you know like the question which is like 77% of the student get it right so you should get it uh, right so your chances of getting a better rank in your exam will become better also in a preparator app, app what you will find is the, there is active guidance so in the questions the part which are the keyword will be highlighted so that will help you in uh, reaching to the answer so not only this kind of questions but also if there is a clinical question see clinical questions need lot, lot of processing you know it needs that you should understand the concept you should know how to connect the dots so here you can find in preparator notes an app as well that you know whenever there is a clinical question you will find a very extensive explanation along with the reference of a standard book so as i said you know especially for i and i lot of questions are actually asked from the standard books like harper's uh, there is a biochemistry question so we have to go back to the harper so such kind of things so either you can as i have said there are two options either you can go back to a textbook or to save time you can use preplatter for your rescue which gives excellent uh, explanation along with the reference now if you are student who have recently clear fmg exam first enjoy your internship say you know this is the first your uh, exposure with the you know indian population and indian clinical uh, you know situation uh, indian clinical environment but don't lose the st- uh, touch on your studies you know students lot of students they completely stop studying you can make videos uh, you know like uh, what i'm saying here is whenever you have a posting so you can whenever you get time like suppose you are in opd you are filling the forms so sometimes if like around 2 o'clock if opd gets over you have to sit there for 1 hour or if you are in icu you are doing monitoring like hourly monitoring so after checking all the bps and vitals you get like you know half an hour or 1 hour in between so this is a time when you can watch your videos even i to this date you know i am watch my uh, like i have a prepared app so i watch these videos during my opd hours during whenever i am free i am going through this because this gave me a lot of information and clinical touch so whenever you have a see a uh, lot of fmg students who have cleared their fmg recently you have a baseline knowledge the knowledge is there you have this memory now if you don't keep revising it it will evaporate so don't lose that focus lot of students fmg i have seen during their internship they leave their study completely they just do i know it's okay to enjoy for a while but don't lose that you know because you'll have to invest another year for pg prep if you do so so have a self belief even being a fmg you can achieve anything i have shown you a lot of examples students have done it believe in your methods and stay honest and consistent during your preparation see lot of students ask me sir there are the source particularly this is very extensive and i am not able to cover it how will you revise so i have given you the option of preparator which provides you very concise notes but you have to have faith that everything will come from your notes if the uh, notes are concise it does not mean that you know the things will not come from it see nobody can know the 200 questions nobody can ever be ready for the 200 questions you have to be ready for those 150 160 questions which will come from your notes 
and which will be from your source so if you don't believe me there was you know after exam the perplat has conducted you know uh, the analysis of their app and you can find that all the exams that recently happened had more than 80 to 90 percent of the questions from directly from the perplat uh, source so if you're someone you know you don't have to worry about that part you, you take my word or take this proof as you know everything will be from your notes you have to start early to stay ahead in the competition you know uh, the students who you know you cannot relax because you have already invested so much time in your undergraduation so you have to start early so as i have said if you are looking for a source if you are someone who is feeling i will recommend what i have used as i said that you know the uh, you know i have rec- seen this a lot of my juniors using it so i'll recommend your better and also i have mentioned the link in description if you are looking to check out the app and all the students who have not previously used especially the students who are doing their undergraduation or who just clearly just recently cleared their fmg exam and looking for the source you can loud, download this app and the entire content of the app is free for initial 24 hours so you can check out all the videos all the you know modules all the jts and everything so you can have idea about the app so summary of my talk see even if you are fmg you have to accept your flaws and what you need is notes mcq practice and jt assessment jt is your grand test i have uh, you know i have uh, uh, released a separate video how to release how to assess your jts how many and when to give jts you can go through that prep ladder you know on a regular basis they carry a lot of free jts on a national level so definitely you can get your, you know uh, benefited from that as well you have to spend time see as a fmg what is what makes you different is you have to spend time correcting on your flaws and weaknesses so accepting flaws and weaknesses is the first step and then start working on it we all want to have experience of studying in indian medical college and trust me it's all worth the effort it demands and it will make your parents immensely proud you know you know you said they sent you abroad with their money but now the fees for my uh, md in uh, aims hopal was 3000 for 3 years so imagine how does it feel you know you save so much money of your parents and you get such a good stipend so it will be a best, a best achievement for you so work hard until your struggle story becomes your success story So guys that's all I wanted to tell you so I wish you all the best and take care